Have you struggled with getting data out of Office 365? Does scheduled data refresh not work like you thought it would? We're going to look at what I refer to as the Office 365 bubble. Maybe we can call it O-Bubble for short. What we're going to talk about in this video is really going to set the stage for further discussion down the line. So if learning about this sounds interesting, stay tuned. Okay, we're going to look at the what I refer to as the O-Bubble or the Office 365 bubble. And this is really about how can we move data in between the cloud and on-premise. So to start, I really want to talk about what this boundary is. Think of this kind of like an M&M. So we've got a hard shell on the outside and we've got kind of that soft center so we can move around. If we're in the bubble, we're good. We can kind of talk to each other and talk to the services within that. Um, if you're outside of the bubble, you need to kind of present your authentication. So let's go and put that up on the board first. Okay, so we've listed out OAuth. That's actually the authentication model. So think of this. This is the organizational account that you use to sign into Office 365. So next, we want to put some things in the bubble because what's the point of going into the bubble if there's nothing there to get data from? Okay, so we can see in the bubble, we've got SharePoint Online, we've got Power BI, we've got Project, CRM, any service that resides in, that's part of O365, that's going to reside in the bubble. We've got some things outside of the bubble that we need to consider. So let's go and put those up on the board next. Okay, so we can see a few things here. So first off, I put Excel up there. So think of this, this is the authoring experience. So this could be Power BI Designer, it could be Excel, it could be anything that you're actually going to pull data from O365 from. The next thing I have up here is I labeled it as DMG or the Data Management Gateway or whatever gateway we're using for uh, from the context of Power BI. And so this is what sits on our, our on-premise. And then the other thing I have down here is CRM. So think of this as CRM. Uh, this is the CRM on-premise. So this is not in the cloud. This is not CRM online. This is actual CRM. Okay, so the story here is we want to use Excel to go and get data. So Excel on its own from a client perspective, we can do this. So for example, in Power Query, we can actually get data from going into the cloud and we can say, get it either from an OData feed or we can say, you know, in this case, CRM, we can say, get it from a CRM data source. And one of the items that Power Query will allow us to do is select organizational account to actually uh, authenticate with our OAuth credential. And so this allows us to get into the SharePoint bubble. On the other side, we can also get data from uh, CRM on-prem as well. And CRM on-prem, that can happen in a couple different ways. One would either be direct SQL uh, data from the SQL backend for CRM on-premise. So that's either with Windows Auth or SQL authentication. Um, the other thing is you could hit if they've exposed a web service or anything like that. That can be used using Windows authentication as well. Um, so from a... Uh, perspective of the Excel piece for the CRM, OAuth is required. So now we've got our data in Excel and we want to actually use some of the scheduled data refresh functionality within or regular refresh functionality within Power BI. And to do that, we have to, from a Power Query perspective, we have to use the data management gateway. This is where we can hit a snag. If we're just pulling data from like CRM on-prem, this will actually work okay. Going from the data management gateway through the O365 bubble, like with scheduled data refresh, this will work okay because it allows for, if we're hitting an OData feed, it will allow for uh, SQL auth or Windows auth as, uh, well, it'll allow for Windows auth for your authentication on that side of it from OData feed. Or if you're just going to that SQL backend, we can, do, we can refresh with that. We know that's a known uh, authentication scheme that we can go after. So now let's take a look from the example of trying to get data from CRM online, which is inside of the O365 bubble. And this is where we get into trouble. So when we go to do the scheduled data refresh and we grab like the Power Query connection string in there, it's going to go and set up that data source for us within Power BI Admin Center. And when we go to configure the authentication piece of this, we have a problem in the sense that the only authentication it allows for is either Windows authentication or anonymous. There's no OAuth selection here. So from this perspective, that will not work. And that's a problem. So you're not going to be able to refresh your data. You can pull it into the Excel workbook or Power BI Designer, 
you can publish that to Power BI and actually use the reports and everything works great because it's in the local data model within that file. Um, the minute you try and refresh that for uh, for the Excel experience and the existing Power BI experience that uses Data Management Gateway, you're going to have a problem. There is hope in this scenario, um, so it's not just a complete dead end. So uh, we'll talk more about that uh, next week, though. Let's go ahead and recap. So moving in and out of the O bubble really has to do with authentication. And more specifically, it's about OAuth and your organizational account. Certain aspects of the product or services may not implement what's needed to allow this to work. And you may be asking, why do I care about all of this? Well, we're gonna answer that question next week. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Leave questions below and maybe just tell me what you thought or if you have anything to add to what I presented and if you think I missed something. If this is your first time here, I'd love to have you subscribe. Every Tuesday we do talks like this where we look at real customer scenarios or we're going to take a look at some tips and tricks and just general how do things work. On Thursdays, we're going to look at just an information roundup of what's going on and also sprinkle that in with some Q&A. And really, I'm doing all of this to help you succeed. And I want to put myself out of a job because I don't have to take support calls anymore. It's a dream, but we can work on that together.